Tell you what, the old mount that came out sure is nasty. It's not as bad as I was expecting, but it's still nasty. Welcome back to the Snow Family Racing Garage. Today, we are working on this 2002 Monte Carlo SS. This one needs the passenger side lower motor mount, this ugly guy right here. I've done a little bit of reading about how to do it. Basically, wheel comes off, shroud comes off, the four bolts come loose, you crank the engine up to the moon, and everything is supposed to come out. Being aware that there are some power steering lines down there, don't hurt those. So I got this uh, motor mount at my local AutoZone. I'll drop a link in the description so that way uh, you guys know what part number we're working on. And uh, yeah, let me grab some tools, grab my skill light, and let's uh, get this process going. This shouldn't be too hard. So what we need is actually hiding behind that cover. Now of all the research and stuff I did, I've never seen one that actually still has the cover. I also did crack the oil filter loose so it can start draining because there's a bolt that's really hard to get to. So let's just get these guys out. Now with that cover removed, you can kind of see those two 15 millimeter nuts that are hanging out under there. And there's also two in the frame. Let's see if I can get them in the picture. Those recessed holes, they also house what I believe is a 15 millimeter. So I'm going to grab a wrench and uh, you know wait for the oil to stop dripping because I don't want to wear that much oil at the moment. Okay, so the bottom ones come off just like they're supposed to. There are a couple of those uh, pinched stress prevailing jobs, but uh, you pull those straight out from the bottom, everything's okay. Now, I removed the oil filter and just stuffed a paper towel in the opening because it was still dripping and I was tired of getting dripped upon. So anyways, now I'm just going to use an open end wrench and start to work these guys off. We're going to be here a little while. I don't think there's really, there's not enough room for me to get a good socket wrench in there. So we're just left twiddling our thumbs, so to speak. There is some debate on the interwebs of, do you need to remove this belt? Um, probably not. But if you were in there and you wanted to remove it, it would probably make things a little bit easier. But, you know, we're just going to keep on twisting here. When I was reading that they had to, you have to crank this thing up to the moon, they weren't kidding. Uh, I've got a big 2x6 under the oil pan. Uh, please know that I am not responsible for any oil pan dents that go anywhere. Okay? So anyways, you got these hard lines in the way. I understand those are power steering. Make sure you keep your fingers clear and intact. Because when things are cranked up like that, you don't want to be losing your fingers and stuff. So, hey, that didn't suck to get out. All right, so you may not have been able to see that cleanly, but uh, let me scooch the tripod a hair. What I did is I took the mount that way, kind of backed it in over here behind the uh, CV joint, twisted it, and it came straight out the hole between the tie rod and the CV. So I'm going to take the old mount, compare it to the new mount. And I tell you what, I picked up a new affiliate for Snow Family Racing called Greasy's Garage. They sell all sorts of hand cleaning products. I haven't got any of the uh, world famous hand wipes yet. That's still forthcoming. But uh, I tell you, I'm wishing I had them about now. Anyways, go check out greasysgarage.com. I'll make sure I drop a link in the description for that also so you can go get some of those world famous hand wipes and all that good stuff. So let's go compare parts. Complete transparency. I did remove, or re yeah, I took that motor mount out just so that I can get a wild kick on it. And now I'm kind of wishing I'd taken that guy too. But either way, you can see how much kick is on that motor to get that motor mount out. Now I apologize. I did not get a video of setting the trend, the, the engine back on the engine mount. Partly because it needed three hands and uh, constant communication to make sure you keep your digits in place. 
But what I did have to do is I did have to use a big pry bar, as a matter of fact, this one right here, to essentially pry on the engine transmission combo to move it forward, yeah, forward, so that way the bolt holes would line up in the in the uh, you know the engine side of the mount. So now that that's there, I've got the two nuts on it, and I'm gonna work on the two nuts everywhere else, two nuts above, two nuts below, and this job is is pretty well done. So let's uh, time lapse. wraps it up. I mean, I got the splash guard on. Yes, I still have to put the wheel on, but like I said, I was going to change the oil too. You know, it's up in the air. I had to take the oil filter off. So make sure that anything that you've done, like, you know, the upper engine mounts, whatever those things that you did to, you know, crank the engine way up, make sure you redo them on the reassembly process. That way you don't have trouble. So I'm going to get to, you know, changing the oil. You guys don't need to see that. I'm assuming that if you're changing a motor mount, you know how to change your own oil. So, anyways, guys, make sure you check out the description. There's all sorts of cool links to tools I use in this video, the parts that we used, you know, affiliates and sponsors of Snow Family Racing, you know, help support the people that make, you know, help me bring you this content. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We will catch you next time.